Good afternoon, dear friends. Today, I am present here in front of you to present a paper on title A few anti diabetic medicinal plants having insulin mimetic properties. So, as we know that diabetes is a various, very serious metabolic disorders. Also, in India, it is called as Madhumeha, which is one of the most common endocrine metabolic disorder, where a plenty of medicinal plants are used as the traditional medicines to treat diabetes in India. So these plants have no side effects and many existing medicines uh, are derived from the plants. So <clears throat> as we know that the human body <clears throat> possesses many enzymatic and non-enzymatic oxidative mechanisms which minimizes the generation of reactive oxygen species responsible for many degenerative diseases including diabetes. So the disease is rapidly increasing worldwide and affecting all parts of the world. Due to the deficiency of insulin, individuals suffering from diabetes have high blood glucose level which is one of the major cause that there are two types of diabetes that is type 1 and type 2 diabetes. So type 2 diabetes or what we call as or refer as a non-insulin dependent diabetes mellitus is the most common form of the disease. <clears throat> Around 80 to 90 percent of the India's population is affected by type 2 diabetes. So insulin or its use or have a very high resistance to the insulin molecule in the metabolic in the metabolism process. So presently various therapeutic therapies are available for the diabetes treatment which includes insulin and various oral anti-diabetic agents such as sulfonylurease, bigrase and glenites. <clears throat> so many of them have a number of serious adverse effects. Therefore the research for more effective and safer hypoglycemic agents is one of the important areas of the present investigation. Aldo's Reductase, a key enzyme in the polyl pathway catalyzes the reduction of glucose to sorbitol. Accumulation of sorbitol in the body causes various complications including cataracts, neuropathy and nephropathy. And nephropathy. The hypoglycemic effects of several plants used as anti-diabetic remedies have been confirmed and the mechanism of hypoglycemic activities of these plants are been studied for the research and a survey was conducted. So natural products have anti-diabetic potentials which act through either insulonomic, insulonomimetic or cretaceous, uh, secretaceous properties are reviewed here. This review also focuses on the role of traditional therapeutics and natural medicines for traditional medicinal plants for the diabetes. So in India, as there are various traditional medicinal plants used for diabetic treatments, around 300 species are known to we people. But my research was especially focused on the area where we live, so where a very variety of anti-diabetic plants were available. So one is 
chemostocus caspidus, which is also familiarly called as insulin plant. Next was Cyzacium cuminus, where the jambul, what we commonly called as its seeds and its uh, powder of seeds, is very uh, fruitful in the treatment of diabetes and it has uh, the insulin mimicking properties. The other one is Holarinius pubensis, which is also familiarly called as Indreserve, which is a very effective plant in reducing the blood sugar levels immediately. The another one it is what we call as Portilaca oleracea, which is commonly called as sugar. Usually this is found in the agricultural fields as weeds. So this is also found to be having a very nice anti-diabetic properties uh, and which mimics also the insulin. And the another one what we, did, we found was that is Dolichendron flaceti, which is also commonly known as Meishingi. It is one of the best the bark of the tree, which is also a best insulin having properties. So many of these plants in our area that we found are having a rich anti-diabetic properties. So I confine here. Thank you. Thank you so much.